Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really delighted to welcome you to Morocco. First of all, I'm very pleased to see the great diversity of this group. That is the very essence of this global exchange on religion in society. The experience that we have in the European Union is that culture can be a real powerful tool to get people together. Morocco is a plural country, which has been crossed by many influences over the centuries. L'État marocain a été fondé, on considère Moulay Driss comme déjà le premier soufi du Maroc, et il a été fondé sur cette union entre la noblesse arabe, parce que la noblesse, le shérifisme, c'est-à-dire au final, le fond du fond de l'islam, c'est l'amour. Et il n'y a rien d'universel que cet amour-là. Donc, quelle que soit la personne, quelle que soit sa race, quel que soit son genre, quel que soit... You know, my grandmother all the time told me something very special. She was a proud Muslim. She's Muslim by religion. We are ethnically Arab and Amazigh by identity and uh, ethnicity. But we are also Jewish by culture. We can be all that on the same time. And this is what is beautiful here in Morocco, is we are proud of our diversity. We see diversity as an opportunity to build a better future and not as a stress to our national unity. You know what makes societies beautiful? is that we can be all of that on the same time. The point about this place is that it was a way to bring groups of young people together and they would learn about the other faiths and we're talking about a Christian monastery but hosting Muslims and Jews particularly. Le Maroc a été un pays précurseur en matière de dialogue interreligieux. Nous sommes heureux et émus de se retrouver sur ce lieu béni. Monastère de Voilà, les, les choses ont évolué puisque on travaille, on, 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 on a compris qu'il fallait pas travailler que sur les femmes, mais c'est vrai que pendant des années, hein, les, cette question-là a été portée uniquement sur la condition féminine et quand même depuis euh, bien 20 ans au moins, euh, voilà, on travaille sur les hommes et les femmes et chez nous aussi, donc on travaille de plus en plus sur, la, sur les masculinités. This is the real challenge. Ouf. Our society is to offer good quality education to both women and men. Because we have to enable women to defend themselves and let them talk about themselves, their rights, instead of others. Moroccan women know very well what they need, but in order to do it well, they have to have the access to good quality education. And here we still have a lot of things to do. So in 1957, there was a convocation of Princess Lala, uh, daughter of the king here at Mussolini, and what she says during that convocation, which was consecrated on the emancipation of women, was uh, that emancipation has to be consensual, like a liberation of the personality, the enrichment of an individual, and that it shouldn't focus on artificial. Back then, modernity was pushing forward and leaving religion behind. And today we're at this crossroads of modernity and the renewal of tradition and religion. And how can they coexist in this time and place?